Hello, today I am decorating my tear trays for 4th of July. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. Today I went to Hobby Lobby and I looked around to see what they had out. Well, they have their 4th of July items out, which is good because I really wanted to look through their 4th of July items and see if I can find some more things for my decor around here, for my tiered trays, especially the small tiered tray. So I was on the hunt for smaller items. And the 4th of July items were 40% off today. So I was pretty excited to be there today and get that little bit of the price knocked down. Let me show you my Hobby Lobby haul. At Hobby Lobby, all of their 4th of July items were 40% off. So I got this sign. It looks tin, but it's not. It's actually wooden. And it's just the back of one of the little country trucks. And this part is sparkles. The red on the flag is sparkles. And then the red on the USA is sparkly. And then I found this cute little lantern. I could not resist the salt and pepper shaker. I mean, this just screams summertime and 4th of July. I have some signs, God bless the USA. This pedestal, which I can always use pedestals and I haven't seen the blue color like this before, so I got that one. And then this sign says, let freedom ring. This star is wooden and it says America. And then this star says, let freedom ring. This star says, happy 4th of July. And then this wooden star says freedom. And then I got a bag of little star fillers. I think this will go really good on my small tray is where I'm thinking I might use them. And then non 4th of July type things. I always get sucked into their sign section and I have be the exception, choose happy, Enjoy the little things. I mean, you know, life's little things. I had to get this. <laughs> and then smile, sparkle, and shine. I have two tiered trays that I thoroughly enjoy decorating with every season. It's amazing how quickly 4th of July has come upon us, isn't it? I have two trays. This one behind me is a larger tray. It has three tiers, and I found this through Walmart online. I will have the link below. This smaller tiered tray is my newest find and I found this one at Hobby Lobby. I will have this one linked below as well. The smaller tiered tray gives me a little more of a challenge. So I am gonna do that one last, I think. And I am going to start out with my bigger tiered tray first. I have laid everything out all over my bar area. <laughs> So that way I can see what I have and I can pull items that I need as I go along with these tier trays. To the top tier of the tray, I have this small ball jar and I wrap some red string around it and I placed three American flags inside of the ball jar. I think that fits perfectly on that first tier. I have this new Freedom Star that I just got, so I'm gonna place that in the front. Oh good, that works. Sometimes with this lip around the tiers of the tray, they're a thicker lip and I have a hard time having things set too low and you can't read them. But this star, this is perfect for this tier. That is a perfect height for this second tier. So I am going to use this blue lantern right here. I was gonna fill it in the middle, but I can't because you pinch this and pull this out for a candle and you only have a very small opening to put things inside of it. And I don't have anything that small. So I'm just gonna leave it empty. This is actually a wider tier so I can put a lot more on this one. <laughs> so I have these books. This is Land That I Love. I found these on, I believe, Etsy or Mercari last year. You can just type in decorative books and all this kind of stuff pops up on there. I always step back a little bit as I am decorating my tiered tray to make sure that the letters are showing 
when you're just kind of standing in the room or even on different angles. I want to know what it looks like on different angles. So I move around and test it out. This actually looks really good. I'm very pleased with it. This I might push back just a little bit so I can see it better. I don't feel like I need fillers on this tray because of the red, white, and blue scheme. It seems to be working really well with that pop of white showing through with the red and blue. So I am pretty pleased with how this one turned out. Are you ready to get started on the smaller one? Okay, I moved this over to my bar area to give me more room so it had to be squished into the corner. So I know I need something just really small up here. Oh, this star says, happy 4th of July. I think that is a good message for the top of this. Okay, I know I want to use this little truck and camper. So I'll put it here, not sure. All right, for the bottom tier, this is a challenge because there's not much room in between the middle part and the bottom part of it here so I have the blue one that matches right here and the red one I have them kitty corner from each other and I have this tiny little blue star I think it would look really cute leaned up against this sign but I want to be able to see the God bless the USA wasn't crazy about where that sign was placed. I'm going to try it back here instead. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, I have these red, white, and blue star fillers, and I am actually going to go around. I'm going to fill this tray in because this one I can see from all sides where I set it on my bar area, and I want everything to be red, white, and blue for each tier of this tray. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly put together a little centerpiece for my table. But I'm going to leave my cherry tablecloth right on the table that is red and white, and cherries are a summer thing. So that will be a great kickoff to the first layer of this table. I found this towel at Target this year. I have showed you in one of my previous videos and it is a very pretty light summery blue color and these little tassels are on the end. So I place that all wonky into my tray. I have this USA mug that is a Ray Dunn. I placed three of the flags inside of the mug. I really like this mug because USA is written in red and the inside is a really dark navy blue. I have the sign that says Home of the Brave. I think I'm gonna kinda just bump this up a little by placing a couple of stars. Tilt it on that mug and I will bring it all together with another star over here, tilt it on this sign. I have some leftover star fillers. I'm just gonna place these where the tray is showing through around the towel. You know what, I might just place some on the towel too. Why not? I ended up just adjusting these two little stars better so that they were tipped on that mug a little better and they weren't going to fall. But I really like how this comes together, don't you? Isn't it 
fun that all you need really just to decorate your house for 4th of July are just a few small flags. I found these on Amazon last year. I will have them linked below. If you want to get festive, but you don't want a lot of 4th of July decor through your home, just stick a few flags inside of a mug or a jar and set them around your house. And that gives the perfect little 4th of July pop to your decor. As you can see, I have a few extra items that I'm kind of hanging on to because I like to decorate the shelves above my coffee station and the basket on my wall by my back door. I will probably continue to just scatter these decorations throughout my home, but you are going to have to wait until my next day in the life. I will share all my decorations with you in that video and show you how I decorated my home for 4th of July. When I change my decor, even if it's just something small, it makes me happy. And I enjoy being able to just look at something fresh and something new even if it was from last year. I hope this has motivated you to decorate your home for 4th of July or just stick some flags somewhere and call it good. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.